नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल आई गॉट टू टॉपिक्स फॉर यू टुडे माय फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज उत्तर प्रदेश पुलिस सेंड्स नोटिस टू सिंगर नेहा सिंह राठौड लेट्स डिस्कस दैट लेट्स डिस्कस दैट थ्रेड बैर दैट्स माय टॉपिक नंबर वन माय टॉपिक नंबर टू इज उद्धव ठाकरे से इज दैट लिसन इफ द ऑपोजिशन डू नॉट यूनाइट नाउ देन आफ्टर ट्वेंटी यू मे नॉट have an election let's discuss what he meant by that let's get right into the show okay i want to tell you two stories and then i will come to my topic you see there was a great poet and writer from hindi literature his name his pen name was nirala his name was suryakant tripathi a brilliant writer great writer you see suryakant tripathi or nirala as he was popularly known would write was was very was very uh, vocal with his criticism of pandit jawalal nehru he was very vocal he would write poetry is criticizing pandit jawalal nehru now uh, pandit jawalal nehru one day decided to visit him and uh, he told his secretary uh, people around went and came and told nirala that you know pandit jawalal nehru the prime minister is coming to visit you so nirala said so kya karne ga usme what do i what do you want me to do so he said no the prime minister is coming to visit you so theek hai we just want to tell you this so he said okay and is one of few of his people they say you know put a, a small khatiya khatiya is a is a is a small is a bedding and he put a blanket on the khatiya and that was kept there and nirala was doing his work he was comfortable and came pandit jawalal nehru the prime minister of india and he had a lot of followers with him he had lot of local congressmen with him and all that and all these people came into meet nirala he didn't want he said why are why is the why is nehru coming to meet me baba i never called him. but all the same he came they say that nirala didn't even get up to greet uh, uh, nehru but he was cordial he made him sit down in that that uh, that khatiya that was kept for him that bed that was whatever that bed bedding that was kept for him he made him sit there and uh, both of them discussed and before nehru went nirala recited a poem for nehru he recited a poem for nehru now mind you if you remember nehru would keep a, a rose on him always so he recited a poem and i will read the poem out for you in hindi first and then we will do the translation of that in english the poem said ab sun be gulab bhool mat jo pai khushbu rangu ab ab khoon chusa khat ka tune ashist दाल पर इतरा रहा है कैपिटलिस्ट वॉट यू मेंट वे दिस पोएम इज नाउ लिसन रोज डोंट फेगेट द सेंट कलर एंड द वॉटर यू ओपटेंट यू सक द ब्लड ऑफ द मैन्यूर ऑन द ब्रांच स्ट्रट्स द कैपिटलिस्ट नो हाउ राइट ही वॉज हाउ रॉन्ग ही वॉज आई डोट वॉन्ट टू कमेंट बट वॉट आई डू वॉन्ट टू कमेंट इज नेहरू हर्ड इम आउट वॉट आई डू वॉन्ट टू कमेंट इज नेहरू स्माइल्ड what i do want to comment is nehru thanked it and went out nehru never sent police to his house after that nor did any ed there were no ed those days but all the same there were not central agencies or or state agencies or that agencies or this agencies that went and uh, and arrested nirala or sent notices to nirala nothing of that sort happened nehru heard that and nehru walked out I appreciate Nirala too. I appreciate Nirala too. He had the guts to talk in front of the Prime Minister of India what he felt about him. He had the guts. This is the story I wanted to tell you. Another very interesting story is um, R K Lakshman. He was awarded the Padma Bhushan during Indira Gandhi's regime. And when somebody went and asked him, "Ke, listen, you have got the Padma Bhushan," he said, "Arey baap re, I got the Padma Bhushan from a lady I kept making fun of." He said, "All my life I made fun of her, and she is the one who is giving me Padma Bhushan." This was what R K Lakshman had to say. But 
let me also tell you he continued to make fun of indira gandhi and all the other uh, leaders indira gandhi morarji desai he made fun of all the leaders that was rk lakshman and that was indira gandhi the point i wanted to make by telling you the story is are we going to put send notices to poets to folk singers to singers to actors who talk against the government is that the policy is that what we have reduced to is that even fair now let me come to miss neha singh rathod's story neha singh rathod is a folk singer she sang a lot of songs especially during elections not so favorable to the bharatiya janata party governments and governance and uh, she was very popular she was very popular because a lot of people listened to her now um, according to her the uttar pradesh police came to my house at indrapuri colony akbarpur kanpur rural at 8 pm on tuesday and handed a notice to my family members asking me to explain my conduct within 3 days the notice asked whether i posted the song on social media and says it has created hatred in the society the notice incidentally said that you are asked the notice to miss rathod said that you are asked to explain within 3 days about the video if your reply is found unsatisfactory action can be taken against you under the relevant section of ipc stroke crpc this is what the notice said now uh, what is this all about this is about a song she 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 recorded which is called up me kya ba i presume it translates into what's happening in up in this song she talks about the death of pramila dikshit and her daughter shiva of burn injuries when a bulldozer was being used to demolish their allegedly illegal house at chanchal majoli village in kanpur rural on february 13th so she talks about that while the district administration says that listen the district has nothing to do with it the state has nothing to do with it this was suicide so what have we got to do with it in fact brajesh patak the deputy chief minister went out to say that we cannot allow anybody to create hatred take the law and order for granted he was mentioning about this song he said you know you can you if you sing like this and all what is going to happen is it is going to create hatred in the society and we cannot allow that the point is if you are going to crush criticism criticism is only going to increase the top the best of leaders in this world has not combated criticism they have accepted criticism The reason I told you about Nehru is because Nehru knew that Nirala was writing against him. Nehru knew that Nirala's poems were 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 criticizing him, and that's precisely why the step Nehru took was to go and meet Nirala, possibly to ask him, "Why are you doing this?" Mrs. Indira Gandhi gave a Padma Bhushan to R. K. Lakshman, not to he was she was literally awarding him for criticizing her, for making fun of her, but she was okay. it was okay she wanted to show the world that it doesn't matter that is what democracy is all about i will give you another example and that example is of somebody who is right here in the rajya sabha and that is kumar ketkar kumar ketkar was a non critic of bharatiya janata party but you know who gave him the padma shri it is bharatiya janata party's lk advani who gave him the padma shri who nominated him for padma shri now these are leaders this is what india is this is what democracy is if you are going to ban people you are going to send notices to people you are going to send uh, send uh, raids income tax to people who who has a different opinion than yours then well that's the way india is going to go then we are not talking about democracy we are talking about anarchy i conclude like i always do if you want to tackle a message do not harm the messenger do tackle the message you answer the message by combating with the messenger you are only magnifying the message more 
टुडे मोर पीपल आई ऑल्सो सॉ दैट यूपी में क्या बात टुडे अदरवाइज आई डिट नो अबाउट दिस ऑनेस्टली आई डिट नो अबाउट दिस आई सॉ इट बिकॉज आई जस्ट हर्ड अबाउट द नोटिस सो आई वेंट एंड एक्चुअली सॉ टू दिट क्या ये सो वॉट हैज दैट नोटिस डन द नोटिस हैज मैग्निफाइड दैट मैसेज मोर पीपल विल वॉच इट बिकॉज ऑफ द नोटिस अदरवाइज इट वुड हैव कम एंड गॉन लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ अदर स्टोरीज सेकेंड इज is this how you are going to tackle uh, is this how you are going to run the democracy is this the ram rajya that we are talking about you talk against the government you talk against any policies and you are you are you are put behind bars is that what it is and thirdly finally a question that i possibly would like to take in one of my uh, dialogues in the in the coming week is um, is has the investigating agencies enforcement agencies stop working for people are they only working for political parties that's the point i wanted to make let's get into our topic number 2 if this that is the current scenario of maharashtra is not stopped the 2024 lok sabha elections may turn out to be the last election in the country nrk will start here This is what Uddhav Thakre said yesterday. Okay, he is absolutely correct. He is absolutely correct. Somewhere down the line, today we are a country, we are a democracy, which literally, literally is a single party democracy. Democracy is about a ruling dispensation. and a strong opposition that keeps an eye on the ruling dispensation if any one of these two miss are are missing in a democracy that scenario ceases to be democracy that changes into monarchy or that could change into dictatorship whatever you call it india possibly would also need a opposition jodo yatra so that oppositions come together i am not saying therefore i am saying okay opposition to come together and defeat bjp and all that all that i am not saying i am saying opposition should come together to protect the constitution the constitution which says that there should be a ruling party and there should be an opposition today there is no opposition that is why opposition should come, should come together opposition to should come together because individually there is not a single opposition who can stand the might and the and the and the power and the way bharatiya janata party fights election there is not a single opposition in this country the only way they can fight is by coming together what they don't understand is it's not about politics it is not about their own party it is about the country and the democracy of this country a statesman will always whether he is in bharatiya janata party or whichever party he is in he would say that i would like to see a strong opposition because that's what democracy is all about so what uddhav thakre says is correct the second very important point i would like to make i am sure a lot of you may disagree to me the only political party who can hold opposition together is congress the only political party because that is the only political party that has been consistently at least trying to behave like an opposition that is the only political party that had the guts to question the government there are other political parties like trinamool or like aap or like or like any other uh, political parties regional or even so called uh, national parties which has been blow hot blow cold trinamool congress uh, you know you see uh, voice levels of some very star member of parliaments from there like mohua mohitra and and derek o'brien but that's about it all of a sudden mamata banerji is quiet one wonders what aap is which side is aap going to go with all the eds and arrest and all that may happen one wonders where is samajwadi party with all the cbi and all that investigations so the only party that is capable of uniting the opposition is the congress let us wake up and smell the coffee so for the opposition it is now 
or never. If you don't unite under Congress now, this unification will never happen. That's number one. Number two, for Congress, you have to ensure that you go out and 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 try winning uh, parties. You go out and try getting parties to your fold. It is a must now. You have just about a year. So that's this is as important to Congress as much as it is important to any other political party. So if India has to see democracy, if India has to have democracy, and I am saying this not from any 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 other sense, I am saying democracy because there has to be a ruling party, there has to be an opposition, and if there is no opposition, it is it ceases to be a democracy. So on that basis, I say if India wants to be democratic, we have to ensure that there is a powerful opposition, and the only way you can have a powerful opposition is by the opposition uniting and for which you need to keep your egos aside you need to keep your personal goals and personal ambitions and personal greed aside and go and walk and fight under one roof one under one uh, party fight for along with one party and that party i think is the congress this is what i wanted to say till i see you next time that's tomorrow at 10 namaskar